2023. What a year it was for cinema. From strikes and flops to fresh debuts and smash hits, we saw it all. Even viral sensations like Barbenheimer made their mark. The film industry faced many challenges and changes, but also delivered some amazing new movies. Welcome to Shadow Tavern, movie fans. I'm here to recap the best of the best from the past year. These are the 15 movies from 2023 that you can't miss. Sit back and enjoy. In 2023, cinema gave us a new horror sensation, Talk To Me. Directed by brothers Danny and Michael Filippo, known for their viral YouTube videos and short films, this movie tells a chilling and original story that mixes classic horror elements with modern themes of technology and social media. The plot follows a group of teens who find an ancient pottery with a severed human hand inside, covered with inscriptions and symbols. The hand is a kind of phone to the underworld. If you hold it and say, Talk To Me, you can talk to the spirit of a dead person. And if you say, I let you in, you can let the spirit take over your body for a while and experience its thoughts and feelings. The friends decide to have some fun and record their games on video, hoping to get some social media fame. But messing with ghosts is not a game. It can be risky and unpredictable, especially if you break the rules and hold the hand too long, then something might happen that no one expects. A wicked and powerful entity will be released to punish you for disturbance. Talk to Me is a movie that will shock you. It amazes with its realistic and terrifying practical effects that create a vivid and creepy depiction of the mind game and its consequences. This is one of the most frightening movies I've ever seen. It was awesome, surprising, and incredibly tense. This is one of the best horror movies of 2023 and is a must watch for fans of the genre. Dream Scenario is a clever satire that reveals the folly and fleetingness of fame in the era of social media. Nicolas Cage delivers one of his most memorable performances as Paul Matthews, a weary and disillusioned biology teacher who feels rejected by everyone in the world. His life takes a bizarre turn when he becomes the star of everyone's dreams, receiving admiration and praise from strangers and friends alike. This seems like a dream come true for a man who just wants some recognition in life. But soon, his dream self unleashes his anger and spite on the dreamers, destroying Paul's reputation and his life. The film is a roller coaster of hilarious and horrifying scenes of various and vivid dreams, ranging from erotic fantasies to bloody nightmares. Writer and director Christopher Borgley skillfully uses the film's surreal plot to ridicule the cult of celebrity, highlight the power of the subconscious, and warn of the dangers of losing control over oneself. Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves is a fantasy comedy action film that transports us to the amazing world of the legendary role-playing game. The movie follows Egan Darvis, a former harper and charismatic rogue who assembles a team of daring adventurers. Their mission is to save Egan's daughter and retrieve an ancient artifact that can resurrect the dead. The film is a fun and thrilling adventure that honors the game and its fans, while also attracting the wider audience. The movie is packed with references and Easter eggs related to the game. It also creatively uses the game's mechanics and rules to generate humorous and suspenseful situations. The visual aspect is stunning. The cinematography, the production design, and the special effects are top-notch. The movie was not a big hit, but it will have a sequel in the form of a series on Paramount+. Plus. Personally, I think this is great news. Fantasy as a genre is struggling right now, and it's very rare to see such a good new film that can charm the viewers. Blackberry. This biographical comedy drama is based on the book Losing the Signal, which chronicles the history of the first smartphone ever made. The film consists of two parts, each depicting a different phase of Blackberry's journey. The first part, set in 1996, introduces us to Lazaridis and Freegan, two ingenious friends from Waterloo, Canada, who invented a device that could send and receive emails wirelessly and named it PocketLink. They pitched their innovation to Balsilli, a shrewd businessman who was impressed by the technology but not the name. And thus, after a makeover, the company that would soon take the world by storm was born. The second part, set in 2003, shows how BlackBerry achieved tremendous success, dominating the market and earning the moniker CrackBerry for its addictive nature. But the company faced a formidable rival that produced personal digital assistants, PDAs. Everything was at stake, their reputation, their technology, their partnership. The movie is witty, smart, and humorous, revealing how money and greed can ruin creativity and vision at every turn. The movie is full of brilliant dialogue, clever references, and catchy music that make it a fun and thrilling watch. 
Air is a biographical drama that explores the sports and business worlds through the story of how a marketing executive transformed basketball and the shoe industry by persuading Nike to sign Michael Jordan. The film features Matt Damon as Sonny Vaccaro, a charismatic and unconventional recruiter who recognized the immense potential of Jordan, a young and obscure player at the time. Vaccaro risked his career and reputation to convince Nike's top executives to give Jordan an irresistible offer, his own brand of Air Jordan shoes. Vaccaro also discovered the secret to winning over the future star, his mother Dolores, who cared deeply for her son and appreciated the talent he possessed. The film is a witty and captivating drama that entertains audiences with its lively dialogue, sparkling humor, and the 1980s vibe. Michael Jordan never appears on screen, but the director cleverly creates a sense of his presence using techniques such as voiceover, silhouettes, and documentary clips. This allows the attention to be on the other characters and their stories. The Boy and the Heron is the latest animated masterpiece from Hayao Miyazaki, a world-renowned filmmaker and the founder of Studio Ghibli. The film is a semi-autobiographical tale of life, death, and creativity inspired by Miyazaki's own childhood memories and Genzaburo Yoshino's 1937 novel. The protagonist is Mahito Maki, a 12-year-old boy who lost his mother in a hospital fire during World War II. He moves to the countryside with his father, Shoichi, a fighter plane engineer, and his stepmother, Natsuko, who is his mother's sister. One day, Mahito Mahito encounters a mysterious gray heron that can talk. He follows the heron and enters a wondrous world where the living and the dead coexist. There, he uncovers the secrets of this world and his own destiny. He learns to cherish life with its joys and sorrows and to overcome his weaknesses and fears. The film is a heartfelt and poignant confession from Miyazaki, who bears his soul and shares his experiences. It is a tribute to his friend and collaborator Isao Takahata, who passed away in 2018, and a homage to the legacy of Studio Ghibli. It is rich with cultural and religious symbols, hidden meanings, and references to the studio's previous works. John Wick, the legendary assassin, has been on a relentless quest for revenge ever since his dog was killed in the first movie. In John Wick 4, he faces new enemies and greater challenges as he attempts to settle his score with the high table. John is betrayed by Winston, owner of New York's Continental Hotel, and hunted by the high table, a ruthless organization that rules the criminal world. John finds an ally in Bowery King, the leader of a network of homeless spies who offers him a chance to strike back. The Wick movies have always been known for their elaborate and stylish action scenes set in a fascinating and mysterious underworld. But in the fourth installment, the stakes are higher and the action more intense than ever. The movie also adds a touch of drama and emotion to John's journey as he reaches the final chapter of his saga. Tom Cruise returns as Ethan Hunt, the legendary spy, in the seventh installment of the Mission Impossible franchise. This film is the first of a two-part story arc that will conclude in the next film. The plot revolves around Entity, a rogue artificial intelligence capable of launching nuclear missiles at any target. Ethan and his team must find and destroy the two halves of the key that can deactivate Entity, while facing off against Gabriel, a former Mission Impossible agent turned ruthless mercenary. The film is a breathtaking spectacle of speed and adrenaline featuring amazing locations, dazzling stunts, and thrilling action sequences. Cruise and director Christopher McQuarrie have once again demonstrated their skill and creativity in creating stunning and unforgettable cinematic effects, making the franchise one of the most original and best action films of our time. Anatomy of a Fall is a gripping crime drama thriller that won the prestigious Palme d'Or at the Cannes Film Festival in 2023. The film tells the story of Sandra Voiter, a German writer accused of murdering her husband Samuel. Sandra claims that Samuel fell from the balcony of their remote mountain cabin during a heated argument. The police, however, believe that Sandra hit him with a blunt object and pushed him over the edge. The only witness who can shed light on the case is her blind son, Daniel. The film not only depicts the trial, but also delves into the dark corners of the human mind and exposes the hidden aspects of family dynamics. It makes the viewer empathize with the characters and experience their fear, pain, and doubt. The movie keeps the viewer engaged by creating a sense of suspense and intrigue. It constantly surprises with new revelations and twists that change the direction of the investigation and the perception of the characters. Based on the best-selling book by David Gran, 
Killers of the Flower Moon is a gripping tale of greed, murder, and love set in 1920s Oklahoma. Directed by the legendary Martin Scorsese and starring Leonardo DiCaprio, Robert De Niro, and Lily Gladstone, the film explores the dark and hidden history of the Osage tribe, who became the richest people in the world thanks to the oil on their land. But their wealth attracted the envy and hatred of white settlers, who plotted to steal their land and money by any means necessary. Hundreds of Osage were brutally killed or mysteriously disappeared and the law was unable or unwilling to stop the carnage. The film follows the love story of Molly, an Osage woman and daughter of a chief, and Ernest, an FBI agent who comes to Oklahoma to investigate the killings. Their romance is tested when Ernest discovers he is connected to William Hale, the ruthless mastermind behind the conspiracy against the Osage. Killers of the Flower Moon is a cinematic masterpiece that exposes one of the most horrific and forgotten crimes in American history. It also honors the courage and resilience of the Osage people who fought for their rights and survival in the face of evil. The final chapter in the Guardians of the Galaxy saga pits the ragtag team of heroes against their deadliest enemy yet, Adam Warlock, a flawless being created by the High Priestess Aisha to destroy them. When Adam attacks the Guardian's new home on Nowhere, he injures Rocket, who has a hidden bomb in his body that could explode at any time. The bomb was planted by Rocket's creator, the High Evolutionary, a mad scientist who experiments on animals. The Guardians must find the High Evolutionary and force him to disarm the bomb in order to save Rocket's life. Guardians of the Galaxy 3 is a movie that will touch the hearts of all audiences who have grown to love these characters over the course of three films. The film was a treat for Marvel fans who were eagerly anticipating it, despite the many challenges that plagued its production. James Gunn was fired for controversial tweets, then rehired, then the filming of the movie was postponed due to the pandemic, and Marvel Studios had to adjust its plans after the end of The Avengers. But none of these issues stopped Gunn from making a stunning film that was a fitting finale to the most unique and original trilogy in film history. Past Lives a romantic drama that explores the themes of love, fate, and life choices. Nora and Haesung are childhood friends who grew up in South Korea, but their paths diverged when Nora moved to the U.S. with her parents. They kept in touch through video calls, but never had the chance to see each other in person. Twelve years later, Haesung visits New York, where Nora is married to Arthur, a successful lawyer. Their reunion rekindles their old feelings and memories, and forces them to confront their regrets and possibilities. Past Lives is the first feature film by Korean American playwright and filmmaker Celine Song. She wrote and directed this personal and intimate story inspired by true events in her own life. The movie is a stunning showcase of beauty and sensuality, with captivating performances from its leads. Godzilla Minus One is a Japanese kaiju movie released in 2023. It revives the iconic monster in a way that honors its origins. The film is not just a spectacle of destruction, but a profound drama that explores historical and social issues in Japan. The film takes us to post-war Tokyo in 1946, where we follow a family struggling to survive in poverty. The protagonist is a former kamikaze pilot who disobeyed orders to kill himself and now lives with guilt and shame. His wife and daughter also bear the scars of World War II, which traumatized them deeply. Their lives are further disrupted when a giant lizard, Godzilla, appears on the horizon, representing a nuclear threat and national catastrophe. The film recreates the mood of the original 1954 Godzilla, but also adds new elements and plot twists. One of these is Godzilla's atomic breath, which is depicted as a weapon of mass destruction capable of destroying entire cities. The film shows how people deal with this terror and how they view Godzilla as an enemy or as a victim. The film received rave reviews from critics for its emotional story, stunning visual effects, and clever social commentary. Many critics consider the film to be one of the best kaiju movies ever made, surpassing many Hollywood blockbusters. Oppenheimer is a biographical thriller that explores the life and legacy of J. Robert Oppenheimer, one of the most influential and controversial physicists in history. He led the Manhattan Project, a secret operation that built the atomic bomb during World War II and changed the course of history and the fate of mankind. Director Christopher Nolan has created a unique cinematic experience that showcases his mastery of story, visuals, and casting. The film follows Oppenheimer's life from his youth when he was fascinated by quantum mechanics through his adulthood when he sacrificed his friends and family for scientific discovery and fame, to his old age, when he faced political persecution and regretted his actions. The film reveals the darker aspects of Oppenheimer's personality and activities, provides a comprehensive overview of the historical and scientific background of the atomic age, and impresses with its technical achievements. 
Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse is a stunning sequel to Oscar-winning Into the Spider-Verse. It reunites us with Miles Morales and Gwen Stacy as they embark on an exhilarating adventure across the multiverse. The new movie surpasses expectations, with as much artistic flair as there are alternate versions of Spidey in the multiverse. But what makes this animated sequel truly remarkable is how it blends thrills, action, and deep emotion. The filmmakers capture the inner conflict of Miles and Gwen, the film's protagonists. Miles has grown into a hero, but he he still faces challenges and doubts in his life. He struggles to balance his responsibilities to his parents, school, and girlfriend. And he faces a new enemy who can create portals to other dimensions and wreak havoc. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and use the buttons below the video, and stay tuned for the next one.